Hello, this is another video uh, for my channel. So, if you want to know about Autism Meltdown, if you ever heard of Autism Meltdown, it's not tantrum, it's not, um, it really isn't, because we don't have control of it. And, and it could last, sometime it could last really short, or sometime it could last several minutes. It, it, you know, it could last really long, or it could not last so long. Um, you know, as you know, I had an autism meltdown at, uh, Walmart. Well, close to one. Um, uh, I got overwhelmed because my neck was really warm. Like, when I say warm, it was pretty hot. The temperature, because of the temperature from outside, so I got stressed, and I would stick. I would walk back and forth, you know, just trying to calm myself down, to because my body needed to regulate itself. And then I talked to my brother-in-law, you know, because he's just curious what's going on, and and so I try to tell him like I'm feel overwhelmed because of the heat, um, it would, you know, and, uh, and eventually got, I eventually calm, calmed down, um, so, I, you know, I'm just thankful for that, but, yeah, it's, you know, I've been watch, been listening to Orion Kelly, who is also a ati autistic adult, like me, but me, I've been, I only found out that I'm autistic, like, this year, so, it's, I'm not diagnosed, but I know that I'm autistic, because if you gave me a paper of, like, all the symptoms of autism, I could check box every one of those, like, every one of those, I, I, I'll, yeah. I can, pretty much, I can checkpoint every one of the symptoms. I'm pretty much saying, I have every one of those symptoms. You know, I stim, I do repetitive movements, I have restrict, restricted behavior, some t and I do way of repetitive movements is me going, meh, 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 meh. Yeah, me. Me making animal noises is another form of repetitive uh, and restricted behavior. Um, you know, I just doing that helps me. You know, it, it helps me with trying to think what to say. <laughs> but um, also, I do it because I have like, nothing else to say, and it's yeah. But. Um, yeah, so, my friends, Sandy and Teresa, my closest best friend in the world, in the whole wide world to me, um, know, they know that I have autism uh, because, well, they've seen me walk, they've seen me, uh, you know, have my hand moving in a non- a normal way, I put it that way. I would, uh, I would stim without even realizing because my subconscious is doing it. I'm not doing it. My subconscious is at the time. Um, you know, one time I was at a grocery store in Jerome, and I had my, my, I had been a goofball, but I had my hands to my side. And then walked like a, you know, a girl or something. I was being a goofball. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was just being silly. I don't know why I was doing it. I just was doing it. Uh, uh, people would look at me like, you know, like, you goofball. <laughs> uh, I look at it, it's just funny. But, um, but like, 
you know, there's times where I'd be talking and like my head will move and I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I don't know what my hands are doing. So I'm like, I'm just moving my hands randomly. It's like, hey, hey, hey. it's funny, but it's like, I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Hmm. So, uh, you know, and plus I have a lot of sensitivity when it comes to light. I have what's called phobophobia, which is not a fear of light. It's a sensitivity of light. That's what it is. So I have that. I also have sensitive, I am sensitive to heat and yes I can get sensitive to cold but it doesn't happen as much as it does with the heat. Now I could go outside, like if it were to snow and it's really cold, I could go outside in shorts because I wouldn't feel the cold at all. Like seriously, I just wouldn't feel the cold. Um, so I would you know, I had is I have issues where my body doesn't regulate itself well, and then like when it's cold, my body seems to not understand that it is cold, and somehow doesn't perceive that, and so I end up wearing shorts outside in the snow during the winter when it's cold. Not my fault. It just you know, I my brain doesn't cup and hint that. And people say, well, you're an adult, it's your choice. Yeah, it may be my choice, but it doesn't mean I am independently thinking of putting shorts on. You know, like I'm not, you know, I'm not actively doing that. I, I'm not actively thinking, hey, that put shorts on during the winter. I wouldn't do that. That'd be stupid. Um, yeah. And the truth is, is like, I could go on about all the other issues that I have as well. In fact, I don't do well with social cues. I don't, you know, you'll see me up and around in my PJ. I want, what? 1 p.m. You know, or you'll see me wearing PJs until 5 o'clock p.m. or something. You know, it's like, I don't do well with social cues. You'll also, sometimes will see me with dirty clothes on. Because, again, I don't do well with social cues. It's not that I'm choosing to, I just, my brain doesn't recognize that maybe I shouldn't wear pajamas. Or dirty clothes. So... It's just, I don't do well with social cues. Um, like, I, I'm getting better at, at, when it comes to my dad teasing me, uh, which he does. He doesn't tease me until I'm going to cry. He tried that once and learned really hard that he, that is not a great thing to do. <laughs> I was a kid and he teased me until the point I ended up crying and then, he got mad at me, and I ended up crying with Mo, and he spanked me. Yeah. That was a while ago, but I still kind of hold a grudge against that. And uh, he... But... Last year, I got in better at... Understanding him cheating me and stuff like that. Um, to be honest. Um, when I'm with my, uh, my... One of my friends, Richard... I uh, have issues with with knowing when he's gonna cheese me or not, you know, because you know I I don't do well in social cues, and it's good not not that I'm actively doing this. It's that my that I my brain doesn't comprehend that Richard is cheating me, and so you know I'm just like oh cool okay. That's literally, that's what I'd be like. And it's just not fun. It really is. <sighs> In fact, for the most part, it's quite frustrating because I'm just like, okay, whatever. I literally, I'd be like, okay, whatever. You know, and then, and then when I try to talk to people, 
I, I don't look at their face. I will look at a wall or something, and it's like, it, and, it, and I get it. It irritates my, it irritates people when I do that. But it's like I have no control over it. I have no control where my eye moves. Because my eyes will move randomly, and it, I, I just don't have control over it. In fact, when I was a kid, um, you know, we had, when I went to can not counseling, it was uh, therapy. Not, well, counseling is therapy, but I'm not talking about counseling. I was talking about going to therapy. Um, when I went to therapy, I had to read Where Waldo books. You know, the books that says Where Waldo, and you had to find the, the many different versions of Waldo's. Well, I I ended up reading those, which is why my eyesight my my eyesight got better. Like I was able to focus on people, but I still have issues with looking straight at someone. Um, I just have issues with that. So. But because of my ADHD, I also have issues with. Um, impulsive with saying not nice things impulsive impulsively without realizing like oh crap <laughs> and it's not again it's not that I choose to it's that I it's an impulse it's my brain will blow out some random crap for no reason and sometimes it can be rude and not nice and I will end up hurting people feelings like I I believe I in, impulsively called my mom F-A-T word and well that was not nice so I I apologize my mom is not fat I'm the one who's fat <laughs> but yeah I just I would I what I say was not nice so I ended up apologizing uh, but that was that again is something that happened because of my ADHD because I will impulsively say some of the stupidest thing in the world and sometimes it gets me in trouble not my fault it's just how my brain works you know um, I might try to go to CB they like, but I might try to go to behavioral therapy to be able to um, you know, have some work on with my, you know, with some of my behaviors and stuff, um, mainly because I want to be able to control some of my behaviors, and I'd have to, uh, not have to, you know, you know going outside and like I try to speak and people get really confused in what I'm saying because what I'm what I hear when I say something and what the push I'm talking to here are two completely different things so when I pronounce and if I pronounce the word ow you know to me it sounds like I'm saying ow but to someone else it's a completely different word and and it's because I don't pronounce ours correctly. I have issues with ours and C H and S H words. I just those are some of the issues I deal with. I try to go to speech therapy, but they were not nice to Sandy. They treat me like crap, and I just stopped going because I'm like, you know what? If this is how I'm gonna be treated, like I'm done. Yeah, you know, it's like, goodbye. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like, uh, it's something umbrella, whatever. I don't really, um, the umbrella therapy or something, I don't know. But I just didn't care, and I just, I kind of give up on trying to, um, uh, trying to go to therapy. I tried to go to, um, counseling here in town in this town uh, and it didn't really work well um you know 
my counselor got mad at me because because I don't know it's miscommunication. Um, I try to ask her how can how like how should I be able to save money? How you know all I was asking is for help. Well, you know what her response was. Well, you know just save money. That's how you that's how you uh, save money. It's just save money. That's literally her response. She told me that herself. And that and also she, she decided to go crazy leftist. And I'm just like, okay, I'm done. After that, I'm just like, I am not going to see another counselor. I'll just go see um, my my previous counselor before her. Because he, he understood my feelings and understood where I'm coming from uh, you know he know tons of things about me and I trust him and honestly you know I would rather be with him than be with someone I don't know people say oh that's just that's not that's not ethical I don't fucking care if it's ethical kiss my ass about ethical crap I just want to I want be able to talk to someone who understand how I feel, I understand the pain and the suffering I go through on a daily basis. Because let me tell you, I have a lot of trauma in my life. I have a lot of things that I, that I, that I go through on a constant, daily basis. You know, I just I have a lot of pit pit up stress and anger. I'd almost everything. If I would have let all my anger out, you know, one, I would hate God, and then I don't, even though I really don't, but I would end up cussing at God. I would end up hurting, you know, I just, it wouldn't be fun. And so one of the best ways to deal with that amount of stress and anger is to go to counseling, which would help, so. That's what I'm gonna do after I move. I'm also gonna go see a therapist. No, so yeah, therapist about psych. Uh, no, about um to see where like where do I get my um, hallucinations from? Because I don't know what is causing me to see hallucinations. Um, I'm also gonna see a therapist about autism and um, and like sensory disorders and all manner of things because honestly I think I have sensory uh, I think I have a sin I have a disorder I have an undiagnosed disorder that is a sensory disorder uh, because honestly I don't do well with uh, senses so um, yeah. Oh my god, my hair. <laughs> um, also, I know I have autism, and the, my own doctor right now refused to tell me, or refused to let me know, or anything. Um, but I do know I have autism, and I'm not going to stop talking about it until one day I get diagnosed or something. Uh, and I just want to know if I, you know, if I have schizophrenia. Oh, it fits my depression. Oh, you know, I, I don't know. It could just be my medication for all I know. And, you know, but I just, I want to learn, I want to go deeper and understand the root cause of the hallucinations. If you're wondering, what do I see when it comes to hallucinations? I can see number of things I could see uh, my dog my old, my first dog Chewy seizing up I could see that with like his like foam coming out of his mouth stuff like that I could also see uh, people stabbing people uh, not fun not fun at all um, people say oh, just you need to take your meds well I don't 
Yeah, I do need to take my meds, but I just want to know what the cause of my hallucinations. Am I, you know, do I have schizophrenia? Do I have schizoaffective? Which I don't think I have one of, I don't think I have either. Is it my depression? Uh, you know, I asked the AI, I'm like, is it possible that it could be due to my anxiety? Probably not. Uh, I also get paranoid delusions. And it's not fun. Um, like during the night, I'll walk outside. Like if I were to walk outside during the night, I will literally feel like somebody is walking behind me, following me. And I will straight up run. Like straight up, I will run either to safety or to, I feel like it's safety. Oh, I don't know where, because I don't like it when I feel like somebody's behind me, following me. And then when, like, I hear a vehicle, like, a horn going off or something, that my mind, that will, you know, make me think of something else. And it's just not fun. So I just stay inside during the, de during the night. Because I can't handle that stress, so... I might have schizophrenia, to be honest. Then I don't really care for the most part. No, I don't think I have schizophrenia. I think I have something else, to be honest. It also could just be my meds as well. So, I don't know. This is why I'm going to go talk to a doctor after I move about my hallucinations. So, uh... Do not take me as, as, as advice. I am not a professional. I am not a doctor. I'm just talking about my life experience and the stuff that I'm dealing with. Um, that's about it. So, um, yeah, please, thank you, and yeah, bye.